Hey booktube, Working Man Reads here, and today I am here with a very large, somewhat assess excessive um, new book haul. And the reason is kind of a funny story because the wife and I were not going to end up going to this because it was like 25-30 minutes away from our house, but we ended up doing it, and I'm very thankful because I found an abundance of vintage sci-fi that was dropped off by a family and they had lost a family member and he had or they had a outstanding collection of sci-fi. I left some for my other fellow readers in Buffalo but um, today I'm going to be just going over some of the ones I picked up and please let me know if you've read any of them down below, what you thought of them and if I'm going to enjoy them. So we have The Forever War. This is a book uh, basically about a gentleman who has been off to war fighting for uh, 1,200 years uh, or so. And uh, basically he's traveling through um, the speed of light or time or whatnot. And back home on Earth, 1,200 years have went by. And uh, so he's got to deal with that. I believe there's an adaptation coming for this or uh, there already has been one made uh, by, and this book is by Joe Halderman, The Forever War. And next we have Brian Aldis. This is The Long Afternoon of Earth. And basically I believe this is like a, yeah, it's about like a, a young man's survival on a planet. I don't know if it's Earth. Is it Earth? Yeah, Earth stops spinning, and he uh, basically Earth is back to tribal uh, nomads, and this young man is curious, and so they kick him out of the tribe. I'm going to move the paper back over here. I'm just going to tap the screen to make sure it is still. It is still. Hopefully it is doing the right thing. It wasn't wanting to... Um, center on me. So this is the second time I've filmed. Uh, next we have Sherry S. Tepper. This is The Awakeners. And uh, this one's pretty cool. I think it's got, yeah, so mankind had worshipped many gods before. Um, so then like gods basically come back to earth and uh, there's like a north river and a uh, south river and they don't talk to each other. Um, and yeah, so we have the Awakeners. Then we have Achilles Choice. Uh, I really got this because it's a Boris Vallejo cover. Uh, hopefully it's showing up for you guys. Um, Larry Nevin and Stephen Barnes. What's this book about? Oh yeah, uh, there's like an Olympiad. Basically there's a utopian society. Um, we send our young people probably to compete. And yeah, so there you go. And I would assume the best of the best come home and the rest don't. Uh, this is by Paul Anderson. This is There Will Be Time. Soon after his birth in 1933, Jack Hevig's parents experienced the first of many frightening incidents associated with their son. One day he seemed to appear double, doubled and disappear and then reappear before his terrified mother's eyes. I believe there's a lot more to the synopsis, but a uh, beautiful wraparound by uh, whoever did this cover. And it's Paul Anderson. I don't know if it's Paul or Paul, but I'm saying it's probably Paul, I would assume. Paul Anderson. The Dark Between the Stars. I believe this is an anthology or a short story collection. These are all mostly Book of Club edition books. Yes, nine stories by... Um, I wonder if there's different authors in here. No, it's just Paul Anderson. Yep. Very cool. 1981. Very cool, very cool. Uh, this one I've been actually searching for. Um, I'm going to make sure it's still... Is it still? It is. I'm really concerned about this because my camera is... I don't know if I got like a little hairline crack in it, but it's like not working lately which is not good for a guy who makes content. But we have Galactic Empires, Volume 1, edited by Brian Aldis. I've actually been wanting to get this one because this cover is outrageous. Um, probably going to get flagged 
on uh, YouTube, but it's cool. We're here for it. Um, so we have, yes, it's more than an anthology. So it's including authors like Arthur C. Clarke, Isaac Asimov, Paul Anderson, Clifford Simak, um, Cordwainder Smith, A.E. Van Vogue, Harry Harrison, and many others. So that's a, that is a, a lot of good authors from this time period. There's, yeah, Charles Nightingale, like what? Charles Nightingale? Yeah, so that's um, All My Sins Remembered. Well, that's the top part. So maybe that's the story that's in here. But uh, we have Galactic Empires Volume 1. So you guys can see it. Then we have Alien by Alan Dean Foster. I think we all kind of know this one, right? Um, but you got to get it, right? When you see it, I don't have this on my shelves behind me, so I had to get it. Then we have a John Varley book. This is actually like pretty cool, like wraparound, full jacketed cover. This is Millennium. Um, so it says, to Louise Baltimore and her fellow citizens of Earth in the 99th century, life offers bleak prospects. The world is on its deathbed, dying from the accumulated poisons of one too many wars. Suicide is common since convincing reasons for hanging around for the planet's final gasps, gasps are few. Um, let's be honest, it's pretty... Uh, it's pretty bold to say that we're even going to make it to the 99th century. Um, but yeah, so I'm assuming she can save the world. Um, that's my assumption. So we got John Barley, uh, Millennium. This, I just can't believe I found all these books and I left books behind. Okay. That's the craziest part. Um, maybe we'll talk about the two fantasy books I got next, actually. I got two Catherine Kurtz novels. I believe these are in the same series. We have The Forbidden Spell, The Duel of Sorcery, and um, yeah, these covers were just really cool, and I couldn't just only get sci-fi, so we got some vintage fantasy in there. This is pretty wild. This stack is gonna go. It's gonna fall. Uh, next, we have Heinlein. We have a Heinlein, tri Heinlein Trio. Uh, I thought the cover was sick, obviously. I've actually never seen this in any bookstores, but it's a uh, collection of three, I would assume, novella-length stories. Let's see what's in here. Let's see if it tells me. You think it'll tell me? Contents. We have The Puppet Masters, Double Star, and The Door Into Summer. I think I have Double Star in a paperback. Um, and, uh, yeah, so we got that. Got a Heinlein book. You know I collect Heinlein. So next, the next two are actually probably my favorite that I picked up because I think I'm most excited to read these. And they're both Paul Anderson. So we're going to start off with The Dancer from Atlantis. I think that covers should just be made like this. You have a painting author name smaller than the title. You got the title. And then on the back you just have the basic painting that the cover was. Fantastic. So, why not? Uh, they were four strangers from different ages and lands snatched up by a time machine and stranded in 1400 B.C. So, yeah, I'm pretty excited to read this one. I don't know why this just sounds so freaking cool to me. It's a very long synopsis, so we're not going to read it. But that blurb is good enough for me. So we got the dancer from Atlantis. The blurb is literally it's this. It's like it's like starting the book and then all the way back there. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna skip that. Nobody wants to hear me read that much. And my phone's at like ten percent. Um, the day of their return is next by Paul Anderson. Now uh, this one's super cool. The future holds much in store for the planet Arenas. Inhabited for over 400 years by Earth's colonists, hostile nomads, and strange winged creatures, Arenas stands at the outpost of the Terran Empire, a solid, a sol oh my God, a solitary orb of intrigue, mystery, and political unrest at the edge of the gal galaxy. And only one man, Ivor, Ivor Frankenson, uh, holds the key to planetary peace, 
or a violent war that could easily destroy the universe. All right, so pretty cool. So we got a colony book. You know I love colonization sci-fi. We might not. I don't know. I've been away for a while, but that is by far my favorite subgenre of sci-fi. So I'm excited to give this one a read. I don't know if you guys have read any of these, but I sure would love to know down below if you have. Uh, I'm going to try to not have a catastrophe and drop all these, but I hope you guys aren't working too hard and you're finding time to read because uh, I sure have a lot ahead of me. So yeah, until next time, this has been Working Man Reads. I'm going to try to make videos at least once a month. So until next time, peace.